Hello there, my name is Adela Mi and I'm a member of Kairos Designers. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to easily create color shapes to be used for our various projects using a very interesting plugin. Now make sure to follow through to the end as it's going to make your design process a step faster. So without further talk, let's jump right in. Alright, let's head straight to Figma. I'm using the desktop as, as I said. I've created a file which we are going to use for this. So, let's say we have a situation where, let's build a frame. Let's say we have a phone frame. Yeah, we have a frame here. Then we are trying to, you know, just kick up, kick up something minor, just something small for our design. And here yeah, we have a color. And draw a rectangle and fill it. Let's just choose a random color. Let's go with red. Oh, yeah, just this shade of red. So now we have this color for our design. Let's say our primary color. Let's just pick it and go to somewhere like um, coolers.co. Coolers.co. Let's go to coolers.co and what, we, what this will help us to do is to just generate some colors let's go so let's see we add ours then we lock in this might be under tutorial where i teach you how to use this but we just want to pick colors that might rhyme well with this okay I think I'm fine with this. So let's just copy this. Go back to Figma and duplicate this frame. Come here, paste it, and that's all. So let's say we have this um, shade of red as our primary color. We have this other one as our secondary color. Now, there are situations where we might have different states. And as a result of information architecture or visual hierarchy, you might want to either darken it a bit or let's say brighten the color, make it lighter or darker, depending on what the situation might be. So let's say we have um, this, Just I just want to quickly work with this. The way I was taught was, you just come here, you hold shift, I know that's a shortcut for some people, you hold shift, then you press the arrow up button to lighten it, then you can press the arrow down button to, you know make it darker you know now having imagine you are creating a style guide and you have to do this for about let's say 10 shades you know you might have a number of states that you want to create for then you know now having to do that darken lighting and even to keep track of these things might be a hassle generally so i'm going to show you a plugin now that will help you do this very very fast very very fast so let's go right in um as usual We'll go to community is the community is the place where you can find a lot of things that you want to use for figma so the name of this plugin is tint tint and shades tints and shades tints and shades so as usual drop a heart then let's try it out let's try it out then here you come here i'll save it so I've saved it into my, I've saved it in, as a plugin for myself. So let's go back to our file. I really don't need to try it out here. So now you just select your frame as usual, command P to open the search menu. Then we are going to type scenes and sheets. See it comes out immediately. Now see it here built by shade thank you shade for making our life much more easier so you just you've selected the rectangle according to the instruction then generate color and voila that's it that's it very very easy you generated that then let's say we want to generate for the secondary color tint and shades generate colors that's it very very easy so now say we have we've created this here just created it just make it smaller 
that doesn't do anything generally but just just making it smaller now we have just the variations of this color that we can use for any project this one in the middle here is the primary you see it now you see it's duplicated that's the that's the base color that we that's the base color that we picked now let me quickly create something with this let me create something with this uh yeah let me create a button um get started this language is very common this that word is very common with applications and all you know so let's say get started i have uh let's leave it leave this let's use this color for the for this um then auto layout to create button um let's just make this 16 and let's make this 32 yeah let's just do this and uh we'll add fill then let's our uh, fill that's our fill then we'll just bring it here now this is actually too thick so uh and i would like this to be white instead of this we we'll use that for something else now let's say this yes that's a primary button you know now let's let's add something else iconify there are so many nuggets being dropped in this video so let's say we have arrow so yeah we want uh, want something like this yes it's quite big so scale it down scale it down then also just add put it in here since I isn't auto layout you find that I just fit right in no need to do any I need to just stress at all so yeah let's keep it in the middle let's centralize it so we have our button now let's say we want to create to make this just work well let's say we create it we create this here let's say uh yeah we create our component now we've created the component i want to create a variant or add a variant but this time for the variant instead of this light shade we are going to select a darker shade so this was the shade we selected before let's come two steps down and select a darker shade now i'd like us to prototype this add prototype um, from here to here and on hover while hovering change to variant 2 obviously and uh, instant it to be instant so i think that should be all i don't think there's any other thing we need to do come to assets we'll drag it here we'll have our frame so um let's play this i'll just play this and see the result of what we've done okay can you see that can you see that it's instant so you see how easy it is just and let's say you have to now create your in the process of creating your style guide you can just come here then start creating let's say red slash 50 come here red slash 100 red slash 200 and on and on and on like that so you just create all the things you need and whenever you just need to do any design or let's see let's create this as red slash 500 first 
plus 500. Now, the beauty of this is this. Just quick, a quick tip. Once you're, let's say for example, you are no more fine with using this shade of red. The moment you come here, select the red plus 500. And let's say you just edit it a tiny bit. Just edit it a tiny bit. It's meant to directly reflect. Here we are using red. Oh yeah, it actually got detached. So yeah, let's say we use red like 500. And then we come here. We pick our red like 500. And we edit it. You see it's brighter. That's the point of using color guides because it helps you and when you need to effect changes across the whole document, let's see how tomorrow's it's just easier to do these things. So that's it for the tint and shades tutorial. You can just um, save it from the Figma community and apply it across your various projects. I can't wait to see what you do with this and if you have more suggestions on what to do on this channel to you know just teach you or things that you like help with you can just drop it in the comment section thank you so much for watching please subscribe to this channel if this helped you we are going to be dropping more of things like this and yeah that's just it bye for now see you on the next one